going going hey everybody this is Kat and I'm doing some more unboxings um, as you know my COVID blood money has been put to good use I'm now gonna open up a strong arm by Mark um, that's, most people know my shoulders been giving me fits and so the most I can throw right now is four little bitty cylinders and I give out and crush them but um, I'm helping with this tool. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this. I have a Bailey. So the clamp I've got will be going towards my Bailey wheel. And I'll show a little bit later how I put it together. You can see how it's packaged. It's gonna take a strong arm to open up the strong arm. Okay. And I've watched Mark do his videos on how to install it, and I do not have the crescent wrench size that he has, so. I'm sure I'll still be able to manage with what I've got. I'll be able to sell pottery and have packaging. So this is the strong arm tool. This plate down here is what centers the clay. And this part right here is what opens it up. Let me open up the part that connects it to my wheel. And like I said, since I have a Bailey, it's a different, I have different um, setup than some people do. Then I'll, I'll figure it out. Almost there. My husband's arms are getting tired from filming. And here comes Blizzard. Once, just once, I would like to get through a video without, yeah, there you are. Anyway, this is the attachment that goes onto the Bailey, and I'll show how that works. And then this thing centers, and that's how I set up the whole strong arm. Anyway, so far so good. Jeez. Too, you know. It's recording. Oh, you can interact with me. Hey, this is Kat, and I'm gonna be. I've got a wrench, Mark. I've got my string arm tool that I'm about to put on my Bailey wheel. Hopefully, everything will work out right. First things first. And you can interrupt. <laughs> Taking this off. The Bailey comes with a tray that, or the, the Pro XL comes with a tray that I can remove. I'll put it on the side, probably over there. And let's see what we got. I've watched a bunch of videos, well, one. Okay, I have these, this little gizmo, I don't know what it's called, just gizmo, and I'm going to apply this, set that there, 
put this inside the middle. I'm assuming that that's what I need to do. Don't know. If this doesn't work, I'll come back and fix it. looks right because he's got like bolts with washers right there. And I know the other washer goes on top probably. I don't want to fully tighten this yet because I want to center it. So I've loosened this so it fits on here. Yay so far. Well, that's not, that doesn't go there. Okay. Are you laughing at me yet? You can laugh at me. Never. Never. I don't know about that. I need another 50 hands. Okay. The correct size washer is in place there. into the hole there. That's much better. He said that this is set up for a quarter inch bat system, so I don't know if my bat system's a quarter inch or not. And if I need to get washers to make it bigger. I'm losing light. Sorry people, this may get a little dark because we're running out of light, but this is Texas in summer, so. I'll tighten it up in just a second once I get my centering going. Cricket's going now. I need some scissors. Cut the plastic. Okay. Had to pause and get a pair of scissors to cut the plastic with. Okay. 
packaging. So there's this, this one. And I am going to center it. Ish. And just so y'all know, I'm not super great at all this. Mechanically okay. inclined. Yeah, I'm not super mechanically inclined. A little bit mechanically inclined, but not. I just want to show that, well, if I could reach it under there, which I can't. I'm taking this off so I can see. getting really dark now. Sorry if this isn't coming through. Hopefully it is. Okay. This is really lightweight. I was expecting it to be heavier, but it seems a really good finish. It doesn't have any burrs on it. Looking for center. And center. Okay. Then. Packing. Put that on. Find center ish. Right about there. And then whenever I get my bat system on, I will raise it up and measure that out. And I'll put that in another video. But out of the way, out of the way while I do my pulling. And while I'm centering. While I am, and I'll still get this a little more centered here, but easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ta da! That's it. And I'll put my tray on the side, probably over here. Um, so I'll have more space, or probably over here because I need more space over for this to go over there. The strong arm. Ta da! Cool. All right, so I'm attempting to throw the biggest amount I've ever thrown 
even before I got hurt. This is a little over three pounds. Three, I mean, I'm sorry, 5.1 pounds. Um, I've kind of, the other day I threw a few times with it, as you can tell. I guess I need to clean that off. Anyway, um, I learned some things about it. So whenever I go in here, it's not that big a deal. But whenever I use this, you have to brace with this on the wheel head to get good support. Otherwise, you can push it down too far on this particular apparatus for it. So, so I'll try to remind myself to use the wheel as a brace whenever I use it. So here this is, five, five pounds, five plus a little bit of pounds. Now, remind you, I'm not a great thrower, so I'll probably lose control of it at some point, but... I'm just showing throwing, uh, feeling. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Pause. Yep. Okay, take two. Okay, so I'm going to try to center without it falling off the bat because I didn't hold on to it well enough. actually almost centered already just a few seconds in I wedged it and um, put it into a cone shape I don't have very much water on here for my normal and like I said I'm a beginner so don't use me as an example And this is a large amount for me. It's already centered. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put this. I'm going to dampen it a little bit. Bracing this. Pulling it down. I'm going to lift it up for just a second and get it a little more even. Kind of widen it out. I don't want it too wide because I have a insert here. Compressing the bottom a little more. And it's opened. If you want to look down in there, let's see what it looks like in there. Okay. It's not cheating to me. It's not cheating. <laughs> Some people think it is, but it's not cheating. Now, y'all saw how little water I used to do that. That's pretty amazing because normally I'm like covered in mud by now. My problem is going to be trying to pull it up, trying to pull the walls up because I'm not very good at that yet because this is a large amount. But just for the, just for the look there. Too, too fast. I had the wheel too fast. Trying to get my husband back to watching football. Oh, this is much better than that. Than the football? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Does my hands get wet or dry? Never stop mid pull, people. And 
I had zero tension on my shoulder, which is the whole reason I got this. I've already thrown it off center because I stopped mid pull. But y'all get the idea. I'm going to call her in. Probably going to end up with something two pounds. But that's not the fault of the machine. That's the fault of the thrower. Maybe I need a flame torch. For the record, this is the tallest I've ever thrown. Pretty exciting. Check it in a little bit more. Trying to get a picture out of it. Okay, now can I get it up taller? How far can I go? How far can I go? <sighs> Let me get a little slip off. Great video logger. Oh, you're getting like derby. <laughs> Your fans watching. Right. Put a little bit of the edge off over here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Getting a little bit of slip off. So I can put more slip on it. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Make a little more off here so I can get up underneath it. I could leave it five inches thick. Take about ten weeks for it to dry out. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Can I do it? Can I do it? Okay. Let's do it. No sudden movements. No sudden movements. Got a little bit of a thin spot in there. The tallest I've ever been. It's gonna crumble. It's gotta. Okay, so here we go.
Okay. So far, still standing. Gonna stop while you're ahead. It'll weigh about 50 pounds by the time I'm done. I'm so excited. This is the biggest thing I've ever thrown. Okay, I think I'm going to just make it look more. Hmm? No. No? My arm's tired. Oh, okay. Alright, let's just do this then. Go for it. Nah, I'm just going to trim off the top. And... Go up more. And cry when it falls. Big girls don't cry. Potters cry, okay? Potters cry. Shot in a beer. <laughs> Private joke there, peeps. Okay. What the heck? I didn't get that even. It's getting shorter. No, flowers will hide it. No, I'm going to make a pitcher to drink water out of. I'm going to make that pitcher. I'm almost done. Then you thrust your arm. Still can't get it even. There we go. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. I'm going to keep working on it, but I'm going to lose it. Almost there. Still feels really heavy on the bottom. Okay, so what can I do here? I'm going to leave it untrimmed because I'm not great at trimming. So I'm going to do this. What's wrong with what it, that is? I'm almost done. It's not bad. I know, but it just weighs a lot on the bottom. And? I'm just going to do my micro trimming here. <laughs> 